Well, hey folks, Amy from Colorado Mountain Living and we're enjoying another balmy 45 degree day up in the mountains. Plenty of sunshine, 100% blue skies today. So we're taking advantage. In fact, yesterday we took advantage. We got out of town a little bit. We had some friends invite us up to their condo in Summit County and we got another chance to snowshoe and get out to some different mountains and not the same mountains that we're used to at our homestead. So it was kind of fun to get do a little getaway and to do some real big hiking which was really fun. But now that we're back, we're taking advantage of this warm weather spell to take care of some driveway maintenance. So there's a little bit of work that we do have to do in the winter time to keep up with the driveway. So let me show you what that looks like. So always we have the patchy areas in the driveway. A lot of this comes from the winds blowing and blowing the snow out of the way and the sun will melt and we'll, we'll definitely get clearing of the driveway, but there are some areas where it tends to really build up. So we have to take care of that. And some of this maintenance is stuff that the snowblower itself can't do because since the snowblower is picking up the light, lighter snow, the, the snow that has depth, we have to still take care of the stuff that packs down. So that's where Brian ends up using the loader part of the tractor to sort of scrape away the hard packed snow that builds up in the driveway. And that way, when it makes it easier for the sun to hit the driveway and melt the rest of the snow. So and we really don't have to worry about the top corner of the driveway very much. It gets so much sun that it, it, you really, really don't have to touch it. So this is all of the area with the geo cell, this top corner of the driveway. So we almost never have to scrape it. The sun really takes care of that for us. But where it tends to build up is the bottom corner of the driveway down there. So this is the top, this is the hill section of the driveway. This is where we're always getting the drifting. So you know, it's just um, one of those regular maintenance things that we have to do every time we have wind. Usually if it snows and there's loose snow, we're scraping away, we're really blowing away that drift. That's, and that's where that, the snowblower really comes in handy.
see how where you're, where you're doing the scraping, how some of the gravel starts to come through in little patches. And that really facilitates the melting of the packed icy snow that can build up. So you can see the tire tracks here. And then this area of the driveway on the top gets a lot of sun. And you can see a lot of the moisture coming through now. A lot of that snow and the ice is melting and clearing, definitely clearing out the driveway here. Yeah. But he definitely got that layer of hard packed snow out of the way. I mean, just look how much snow bank is at the, at the corner of the driveway now that we don't have to worry about. I think what you'll see over the next few days is that a lot of that's going to melt because it's going to be strong sun, 40 degree weather, almost 50 degree weather for the next three days. And that'll get a lot of that more of that icy packed snow off the drive driveway without having to scrape away the gravel. That's the challenge. For us, the biggest maintenance pieces of the driveway in the winter is keeping the snow drifting clear. And there's nothing that we can do about snow fencing this season. We'll have to do that after the ground isn't frozen anymore and install some snow fencing where that drifting is the most likely. But we just can't do anything about it right now other than just continue to snow blow the drift area. So that's the big, that's one big maintenance. The other one is keeping the hard packed ice and snow clear when you can. So we get opportunities like this with 40, 50 degree weather and we take advantage by scraping away that where the buildup starts to occur in the bottom corner of the driveway and then let the sun do the rest. And then the last maintenance that we're doing, the last, pe the last piece of maintenance that Brian keeps up with is pushing the snow buildup off the driveway. So you can see here next to the trailer, this is just the bottom corner of the driveway, but right next to the trailer, he pushes the snow up onto the hillside as much as possible so it's not building up and backing up into the driveway and then on the other side of the trailer you can see the same thing so once you're coming up onto the corner of the driveway just keeping that snow pile build up as far away from the driveway as possible so you can see where it's ground you know there's really no driveway over here you can even see some vegetation some grass and so he's really pushed the snow banks far off the driveway as possible to really limit the buildup of the, of the snow. You don't really want that encroaching into the driveway space. Keeping that clear makes it easier to move snow in the future. Planning for that snow removal. So when I was talking to the county plow person, he was saying, you start planning in October for your spring snow, meaning like you don't just keep plowing stuff to the side. You really have to think ahead in case you don't get these thaw opportunities. You want to be able to make sure you have room to put the snow for months. So you really have to have a plan. And the snowblower has helped us tremendously, not having to worry about buildup of snow, but you still have to be pretty forward thinking about where you're putting snow in January, just in case you still get snow in April and you have to, you don't want to run out of places to put it. So that's pretty much our driveway maintenance plan for the winter time. We don't do a lot of, there's not, there's no other, you can't move any ground, right? So you're not really doing anything with uh, the driveway itself, but just there are certain things that you have to keep up with in the mountains to manage your snow loads throughout the winter time. So keeping up with drifting, keeping up with the snow banks and trying to scrape away that ice layer, that packed ice layer that can build up over time whenever you get the opportunity for strong sun and more uh, milder temperatures. So, well guys, that's it from us for the weekend update and how we're keeping up with snow and how we're playing in the snow. <laughs> in the spring, maybe we'll be getting towards more uh, driveway mitigation as far as those uh, snow fences and markers. But so far so good this winter. It's not been a very snowy winter, even though it definitely looks like it. If you look around, it looks like a lot of snow, but even up in Summit County in the 10,000 foot region, they don't even have a lot of snow up there either right now. We were surprised when we were snowshoeing, we didn't see a whole lot of snow yet. So we'll see what kind of year it turns out to be as far as snow, but we definitely need it to keep those fire risks down coming in the spring and the, in the summertime. So anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll keep you posted. Take care. Bye.